I just wanted to take a minute to document this if uh, for my own failing memory if nothing else. Um, here are two of these 9 inch Packard Bells. This one's pretty much new old stock and uh, that one's quite used. These are perhaps the smallest all tube TVs ever made in my opinion from what I've seen. And both of them had the same problem which was a shorted vertical output transformer and the vertical output transformer is you know, it's right down there under that red thing, soldered to the circuit board. It's right there. And actually I'd seen multiples of these that had shorted. It's like it was a mal, mal manufactured part, a problem part. I like the little cute flyback. Anyway, I tried a ton of substitutes because, of course, this is a Japanese-built set, and those were not available from anywhere. So I tried a bunch of substitutes, and checking the cathode current, looking at the linearity, I couldn't find anything that worked except the flyback out of a full-size color TV. So what I ended up doing is I ended up mounting it right here. And I had to notch the corner out to use that screw. And then on this side I have it just tie wrapped to that post. Uh, all of these wires on this side are just terminated. These are the windings for the convergence on the color TV. And the other wires are down there and they're fed through and brought up here. And the same thing on this one. This is a little bit different of a transformer. This is from a late 60s or early 70s Packard Bell rectangular set. And, and again, these are just all of the convergence wires. They're just terminated. And this, is, this was wired in as an auto former. So that's why I got those two tied together. And everything specs out perfect. The cathode current is a little bit low. Again, this one is just tie wrapped there to that post and screwed here. There was nowhere else I could have put the transformer in here. The set is so small. The only other possible place to have mounted it would have been right right up here and then the horizontal output tube would have just baked it to death. Not that they're going to get a billion hours anyway, but this is pretty much the new old stock one right here. And this is the one that's got some hours on it. Both of them work great, both of them work identical. So this is my, they call this the Portabelle. This is the Portabelle, Packard Bell Portabelle Vertical Output Transformer Modification. Here's an extra one of the transformers. These transformers are, uh, this is a roundy and this one is uh, 10 to 1. And this one here from a rectangular is about 12 to 1. And I calculated that by just feeding uh, 120 volts from the primary into the line and measuring the secondary output. So all the black and white, the smaller black and white transformers I tried are all 6 to 1 and 8 to 1 and that's way too low for this. It just loads the tube down and draws about 80 milliamps when it's supposed to be under 20. And 10 o'clock news for big stories. Hannah Anderson is reunited with family. In-depth investigations. What happened to the money?